It's the last day of the build, and before we hand the keys over to Simon and Lindsay, there's just a few finishing touches left. While Zach and the crew are racing to get the large front door mounted, the shower tile is being finished up. We've also added an antique cart in the kitchen and a roll of craft paper so Simon and Lindsay can sanitarily prep food for their birds, then throw out the paper and prep food for themselves. Seven days ago, we arrived in Mesquite, Texas to help Simon and Lindsay McNenny build the tiny home of their dreams. It'll also be their home base for their traveling bird business. I helped them pare down to the bare minimum of clothing and kitchen appliances, and by using reclaimed materials, we helped them achieve the bird's nest look that they wanted. We also incorporated the largest movable porch we've ever built so they have a place to train their birds. We just hope that when they walk through that door and enter the tiny house community, they'll never want to leave their nest. Here we go. What's up, guys? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Come on over here, guys. <laughs> Look at your porch. <laughs> no, no, no. It's the perch, not the porch. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. So That's cool. so amazing. Look at the colors and the barnwood siding. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. Those windows look fantastic. Oh, and they all just fit together so well. I mean, I love it. It's just something out of a movie, I guess. And it's just exactly what we want it to look like with the nest being our vision behind it. A little emotion, <laughs> oh, isn't it's there? amazing. I can't this believe so you used cool. all that reclaimed stuff. Yeah. It's definitely awesome to, to know that you were a part of finding some of these materials. How cool to be able to use something that was up for 50 or 60 years, and now it's back on a house that'll be up for another 50 or 60 years. All right, well, get in there, guys. Check it out. OK. Oh, my gosh. That door looks amazing. Oh my gosh. Holy <laughs> cow. Oh my gosh, I can't even believe this. This feels so much bigger than expected. I haven't even noticed how big it is. I'm just so, oh my gosh. <laughs> Unbelievable. Just to see your dream house. No, oh, I'm so obsessed with my kitchen. <laughs> I love the countertops. I love the windows. Perfect kitchen. It's stunning. <laughs> Holy crap, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my god, you're going to freak. Whoa! What? I can't believe you actually got everything in here. Hello. What's up, guys? Oh, Anyone home? Oh my God. The bathroom is the coolest bathroom <laughs> I've ever seen. Right? And this shower. That's unbelievable. Right? It's amazing. This is all slate. All of this, it's faux stone. Really? It looks, it looks super real, right? Oh, it's just a yeah. panel. Wow. It cuts down on the weight. In right. tiny oh, living, yeah. you've got to be really weight conscious. This is perfect. Let's come out here where, where we don't have to all be in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> it is roomy in there, though. So, Simon, the kitchen was a really big deal for you. Absolutely. <laughs> right? Everything's full size. I mean, yeah, this this amazing. is this is full size. Amazing. You got yourself a big sink. Ugh. It looks so good. Right? The colors are amazing. You and the brick. the bricks. Like, the bricks are so cool. I mean, does this seem like a kitchen that you could be comfortable in? Absolutely. This is amazing. I didn't think it felt small at all. This nice <laughs> antique movable island. The way I see this working out, this can be an extra space to prepare food. Yeah. This is where you make the bird food. Sure. Yeah. This can also be uh, an eating surface. It can oh, be an yeah. office surface. Yeah, so absolutely. this is a multi-functional little piece here. All right, so let's go ahead and move here into the main room. Notice the tin, and it looks it's just perfect. wonderful, I think. I love the colors. I mean, it all works together. It flows so well. It was really nice having you guys actually come and choose some of this stuff with me, because I don't know if I would feel completely comfortable putting this much reused material yeah. into your house without seeing your enthusiasm. You and I, Simon, yeah. we got to climb around in the big rat's nest and pull out this uh, cedar tree. You recognize that? Yes, absolutely. It's so perfect. Yeah. Same thing with this, though. We're thinking another little perch for, for the birds as well. Absolutely. I can definitely see that's going to be Pigwidgeon's favorite place to be. Let's head over this way. Go ahead. OK. Oh my goodness, I love the skylights too. This is so cool. And the handrail right next to our bed. This handrail was uh, kind of interesting. It was another find from that fallen down house. It's got such great character, but it's in really good shape. Yeah. So cool. Now, of course, if you look over here to your right. Go, oh, what? There's another room back here. Oh, surprise. This is amazing. Hello. Hey. <laughs> this is your whole little extra room. All right. Wow, this is so cool. Right? <laughs> I can't this even believe it. This area is a multi-purpose room. You can use it however 
you best see fit. Yeah. Now we have it set up as an office, okay. right? Because we wanted to give you guys a dedicated space for the business. And you've got a little separate entryway, so it's, it's kind of neat. This is also a great place for you to store your shoes and clothes, and it'll be easier to get dressed in here right. than in your loft. Yeah, yeah. You know? sure. And the best part about it, it has a trap door. Yeah, trap door. So I know you guys have been dying to come down here. Yes, yeah. I can't it's wait. Fantastic. So why don't we come down here and we'll uh, we'll meet in the front perch. Nice, the perch. Who else has two entrances on their tiny house? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and I bet no one has a trap door. That's right. Except for us. At least none that we've built. Well, there is something that I know that nobody else has. OK, what is yeah. that? It's, it's this bad boy. But actually, I want to call in Justin, our contractor. Hey, Justin. How are you? Ah, how are you, man? Pretty how good. It's such a unique house. We, so we cool. appreciate y'all letting us be part of it, for sure. We'll show you how it works. Zach, you want to? Uh... Yeah, why don't you come over here, and I'll show you. OK. See how this thing works? You may have seen that there's a little bit of an outlet box up here. So this outlet box is actually what is going to hold your winch. That's and cool. if you want to go over here to the panel, what? we got two buttons. Go ahead and push the down one for me. OK. <laughs> All right. And it's as simple as connecting this onto your eye hook. Now, now it's I'll as push. simple as pulling it up. Do you want to do the honors of this? Sure. OK. <laughs> All right. Wow. wow. We have a drawbridge and a trapdoor. I know. <laughs> you don't have tiny house decks that are connected to the house that you can travel easily that are this big. You yeah, just don't. Huge. And I mean, look how much room we have yeah. out here. Oh, it's it's so perfect. Great. I can just imagine drinking coffee on the porch, watching the birds. I'm super excited about this. It's bird friendly. It's people friendly. Then you're in a bird sanctuary. I mean, so really all that's left now is for you guys to enjoy your new home. So congratulations, you guys have a new tiny home. Thank you and so I, much. My brother's got a hug. <laughs> hey, great job, hey, man. man. Oh, I want to be part of it. <laughs> <laughs> It's day seven of the build, and now that we've settled in at the Marcella Terrace Vineyard, there's just a few finishing touches left before Sean, Kate, and Emery's big send-off. Zach is putting together the portable yard while I'm getting Emery's room ready. We want everything to be just perfect for when Sean, Kate, and Emery see their tiny house for the first time. What's up, guys? Forgive me while I look right past you. Yeah, no, don't look at me, yeah. Come on over, come on over. Oh man, you're excited. Oh, yeah. oh goodness, hi Molly. What, what's the first impression? I mean, you guys, you're looking at your home. I'm, I'm it's just like. I'm blown away. I love the way it looks. I love the corrugated metal, the way the windows pop with that. I can't get over the wood accent around the front door. It's absolutely beautiful. Can we go inside? You guys want to go inside and check yeah. it out? Yeah, I do. All right then, get in there. Come on, go, go, go. <laughs> this is amazing. Wow, this is beautiful. The colors are great. This place feels huge. The first thing I felt was how large it was. Like, there was tons of room for us in there. Look at the stairs. Look how bright those are. <laughs> That's awesome. This kitchen is exactly what we wanted. The finishes on the kitchen, and it is absolutely beautiful. So much better than I could have ever imagined. Let's go up the stairs. Ooh, it's pretty up here. Look at this space. This is awesome. <laughs> Look at this floor. Oh, gosh. That is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. You ready to see your room? Oh. Look, it's your bed. Molly and Riley, go ahead. Molly. Good girls. That's amazing. Hello. I see you guys found the dog yard, huh? <laughs> Come on out. How does it feel, you guys? It feels awesome. It's absolutely beautiful. I couldn't have imagined it. There's plenty of space here for me to move around. A Great Dane can be behind <laughs> me as I'm cooking, and that is awesome. Now, you guys had quite a list of features you wanted, and seeing as the dogs are kind of the elephant in the room, we want to start there. OK. OK? okay. Yeah. Come on. All right. One of the things that you guys pointed out very early was where the dog's going to sleep. Is that yeah. why we got a king-size bed? That's why you got a king-size <laughs> bed, so there's more room for the ducks. No, absolutely not. So, Kate, what I did was actually take the dog bed and make it nest underneath the couch. If you'll look down here, we built a little box. There's a latch here. Undo the latch, lid comes up, and you can just reach in and pull the entire dog bed out. 
awesome. But there was another piece of this, which is how do we keep the dogs from just climbing on the couch when everybody goes to sleep? So Sean and I actually built this part together. There's a little pin right here, pulls right out, and now the lid pops up. Out comes our dog netting, <laughs> right? Bring the net up, hook it on these little hooks. And now you have what I think is a pretty cool solution to keep the dogs from not sleeping on the couch. They will not go near that. It's perfect. One of the priorities that you guys did have and mentioned a lot was kitchen. This kitchen feels very functional to me. Do you guys agree? Does it feel like a kitchen that you can work with? I definitely agree. There's plenty of countertop space, a nice deep sink, a lot of things that we've been hoping for. I love the white countertops. All of this is just beautiful. And the headroom. I mean, we were able to keep the headroom and the space open because we were able to find some storage in some other spots. <laughs> Emery's finding it already. He is. But to be honest, I can't remember all the different features of the Swiss Army staircase. So I just want you to run us through it. I mean, microwave. Microwave. Oh, look, a microwave. John. Piece of cake. <laughs> a little um, microwave. Sewing machine. Sewing, sewing machine. machine. Here's the sewing machine. Sewing machine. What else? Trash and recycling. Uh, coats. Emery, yeah. you want to help us with Here. the coats? That's where the coats live. So there's a little coat rack. Nice, deep. What about your office area? Office. Yeah. Office, your little stool. You've got a drawer here. What about my camera gear? John. What's in door number one? Let me just open. Oh, unopened. <laughs> oh, too bad. Camera equipment goes in another lid compartment. Oh, this is great. There's foam underneath it to keep it padded. But if you pull the foam piece up, you will notice there's oh, another awesome. storage compartment <laughs> underneath oh, that's super tricky and totally <laughs> hidden. You know, if you have okay. jewelry or anything that's super valuable, it's going to have to be a really involved thief to find this stuff. <laughs> I can't believe they fit everything we asked for in the staircase. Not just everything we asked for, but that fancy little uh, hidden storage compartment. Yeah. So, this might be the smallest room in the house, but it's probably one of my favorites. I think this is a really good example of a space that is designed to grow with you guys as a family. Notice, none of the stuff in here is completely locked in place. I could see it transforming into an office and then maybe even transforming back into a nursery when the time comes. The baby's room is a great multi-purpose room. Being able to remove everything that's in there, it can transition into anything we need it to. When we want to change that space to something else, it looks just really easy to do that for us. There is something else to show you. Hi, girls. How have you guys been? So welcome to the dog run. They look happy. The number one concern that I had was even though this is a dog yard, you got to be able to pick it up and go when you're ready to travel. What you're going to do is lift in both corners. Ready, John? Now, each piece of the gate should be light enough that you can lift it by yourself. You just walk it to the front of the house and lift it into place. There's ratchet straps in the corner, and you're just going to crank that down. I love the dog run. I feel like it's really easy for us to take it apart, pop it on the back, and move it, which means we'll use it. How does it feel? Does it seem like the house you imagined? It's better. It's way Absolutely. better than I could have imagined. Yeah. They don't feel like we had to sacrifice anything, and that's huge for us. It feels like home. It feels like us. The only thing we have left to give you are the keys as we welcome you guys officially to the tiny house community. Congratulations, you guys. <laughs> you guys. Oh, no. All right, we're going to get out of here, all right, you guys? All right, thank you. Take care. Right, come on, girls. See you guys. Thanks, Bye. Thanks. Bye. Now it's day seven, and the crew is putting the finishing touches on the home's exterior and taking care of some last-minute details inside, including an incinerating toilet. A memory foam mattress is being unrolled and expanded in the upstairs loft, while Sterling the Snake's terrarium is brought in. Decorative cat scratchers, baskets of dog toys, and our custom-made bird perch picture frames are also making their way inside. All that's left is the Philip Zach's one-of-a-kind custom storage stairs with pet supplies. We're just about ready to open this tiny zoo for business. My heart is pounding 100 miles an hour. It's like, oh, we're almost there. Oh, I pass L. No, don't pass L. How cute it is. Oh, wow. Jump out. Let's see your house, you guys. Beautiful. <laughs> Look at the planters on the front step. Oh, oh my gosh. Those, those. So first impression. I like the little inset of the porch. Yeah. yeah. It looks great. Conrad was almost hyperventilating on the way in here. He's still <laughs> almost hyperventilating. Before you pass out, I want you to go, get in there and see it. <sighs> oh, my 
my God. Oh. Wow. It's like our home compressed. We love our tiny house. It is so pretty inside and so spacious for being so tiny. Hello, hello. Oh. Hello. Come on over. Come on over. In your new house, what do yeah. you guys think? It's breathtaking. It truly is. I just can't get over how big it feels inside. All the pieces that we see around, the, the beautiful woodwork. Every time I look around, I see something I didn't see a minute ago. It's incredible. So there is a cat zone. There's also a bird zone. Well, I think the first thing that we should notice is that, I mean, it's not obvious, right? It just looks like pictures on the wall with a nice frame. Yep. But as you guys both know, it's more than just that. It just clips down. Now, the bird stand flips out. We got another one up here. Same thing. It's got the cardboard. Just pops out. Oh, cool. <laughs> so you can Sweet. just replace it, you know? Incredible. I love it. It's a very tiny house because of the multifunctionality. I admit, the entire time we were doing it, I didn't know what the hell was happening. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't say that when they go, oh, that's so cool. Just own it, OK? So the kitchen, the amount of feedings and stuff that you guys have to do with all the animal stuff, we wanted to make sure that we gave you a good-sized, fully functioning kitchen. A lot of counter space, upper cabinets for lots of storage, and because you don't have a dishwasher, the sink and the faucet was a real big deal for what we needed for you guys. And I mean, really, the nice thing about keeping everything so condensed in the kitchen is that it really opens up space, like in the living room area, mm -hmm. for it to just be a living room. Yeah. I've never had someone show me a mantle and say, yep, we want this in the tiny house. That's sort of the challenge that I brought to Zach. And I think we can agree that this is a beautiful piece and something I've never seen in a tiny house. And you delivered. Well, I mean, boom. Oh, oh, oh man. You got really That's great cool. storage options on both sides. This really looks like our fireplace at home. And by making an electric fireplace, we didn't lose any functionality because it's still kicking out heat. What not having a chimney did was allow us to use the upper cavity. As you see, you to be. TV. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is incredible. Yeah, let's see how this works. Oh, look Wait, at you guys. You guys. <laughs> Very nice. Perfect. There is one more important part to this that we want to show you, and it's got Zach written all over it. It all comes back to this central area. And the key element in this central area are the steps. It works as a staircase. But on top of that, each one of these steps is actually its own cabinet. So you got full storage inside there. And then the big one over here actually just pulls out. <gasps> oh, and the whole thing so is a cart. Cool. But that didn't solve 100% of the issue. Where are you going to eat? So oh, we didn't actually. Oh, <laughs> the door comes out now. You have this little stack here that pulls oh. out. One of them is a stool for you. There's a little bit of a stand here, another stool for you. And then now the door just moves back. Flip it right up, lands right on your stand. Here you go. Let the foxes sit down. <laughs> this, is cool. this is incredible. The thing that I really like about it is that you can move around in the space. There's we can get in and out of the door. Um, and I can get to the refrigerator without having to get up. <laughs> now, the only thing at this point missing is our kids. The animals, exactly. To John and Zach, we'd like to say thank you for understanding how important it is for us to not have to pare down any of our pets in order to make the change to a tiny house. Unleash the hounds. Hi. Yeah. Welcome Hi. home. We got a little something on your. Oh, it's a snake. <laughs> yeah. Having seen the space, having seen the animals in here, does it look like this can work for everybody? Oh, yeah. I think so. Yes. The last thing to do is to make it official. Who wants the key? I don't know, Madala, Katie, Lily, or you guys? I think we'll take it. <laughs> you guys, welcome officially to the tiny house community. Yay. Way to go, you guys. Nice. All right, you guys, enjoy your new we home. Have to hug in the <laughs> We're going to get out of your hair. Say bye. Bye. See you guys. Bye. bye. See you. Bye, doggies. Thanks. Yeah. yeah.